What's just happened? This house is guarded. Hmm. Finally, you're here, Doctor. I just shoot a bunch of children away. They tried to sneak in. I seized lockpicks from them, too. Didn't find the heart to shoot, sir. Forgive me. They're just children, after all. Didn't find the heart to shoot. Good. Lockpicks? Uh, well, sir, kids often ferret about empty flats, and the owners of this house were evicted. Uh, here, sir, the two lockpicks I confiscated. But they still got more. They'll never back off. I know what I'm talking about, sir. I was just like that myself. Two lockpicks. Wow, that's really lucky. Why were the residents of the house evicted? Uh, for some reason, people from the Crucible came by, told them to vacate the premises. I don't know, sir. I was only assigned to this duty this morning. Am I dismissed, sir? From the Crucible. Hmm. Uh, no, you're not. Stay here. So you did give me the lockpicks, right? Wait, weren't you going to give me the lockpicks? Where's, where's my lockpicks? Shit. There was an option to say hand over the lockpicks, but I thought they were going to give them to me anyway, and I thought choosing the other option would make them say additional stuff and give them to me, but I guess they didn't. Oops. That's kind of... ruinous. Actually. What was my last save? Okay, did everything that I did previously the exact same way. This time I'm going to say hand them over instead of... hand the lockpicks over, that is, instead of talking about the residents. Okay, now we got them. Oh, those lockpicks look different than the ones from the main game. I wonder if these have to be used like actual lockpicks. These lockpicks are better than the kind the locals would stick into each other's guts before the second decree of the late Governor Sabarov. Oh, so they're improved versions over the ones that we used as Burak. Okay, well, let's go straight back to this house. I want to know what's up with it. Because it is creeping me out. My husband's been dragged to the isolation ward in the cathedral. He needs to be let go, Doctor. Why are people still confined there? There's no need for them to be. What with the disease having been eliminated and all. There is a need, dear. A pressing one at that. This is the only way to prevent infection from spreading. So don't pester me with this issue. You shameless butchers. You've seized my husband and a dozen more with him. Perfectly healthy people. Pure as the driven snow. My husband doesn't even get colds. His cough is due to the coal dust. He works at the railroad station. Well, clearly if he's invulnerable to colds, the sand plague isn't a threat to him either. Get off my back. Okay, so pick lock. Oh no, I do have to do the thing. Oh my god. Damn, that took a lot of the durability. Ooh, pemmican. Nice. Okay, I'm just gonna go straight for the main door. Um, oh, there are these places I need to loot again, though. Because I haven't looted it in this save. 
That's one thing that I didn't do exactly the same. No, I think that's it, though. Yeah. Oh, shit. This lockpick might break. It might not make it. Fuck. I'm a fool. I'm a complete fool. Okay, let's try this again. This time I have not used either of the lockpicks, so I should have just enough to do this. First one will break, and then it'll switch to the second one. Oh. Ooh. They definitely seem to have the plague. my immunity it's pretty good should be able to withstand a touch and if I get infected I could take a schmouter I can talk with them okay so they're not gonna try to touch me You must be thinking that you can't leave this place now, but don't let it get to you. Oh, because I've come in contact with them. Yeah, I guess it would be best if I didn't leave, huh? Damn it to hell, you're right. I'm at an impasse. Indeed, death may feel horrible, but it's not the end. Fear nothing and be on your way, kind doctor. Oh, you couldn't be more wrong, darling. I'm far from kind. I have found infected people. Is this the source of the infection? Well, the way this view is moving is weird. And then there were three. Stay with us, Doctor. There's nothing to be afraid of. You'll see. I worked so bloody hard to save the last patch of infection-free land in this damn town. Do you even realize what you've done? Why did you have to hide? We're not going anywhere. We don't need to. It's almost over. We're almost well. You're lying. This is the sand pest. It's incurable. Everything's gone now. There's no fever, no pain, no fear, only elation. Look at my sister. Look how much better she feels now. She can almost keep her head up, can almost stand. Exactly. These are fatal symptoms. What now? The day is over. It's time to do the rounds. We have a yep <laughs> infected. We seem to have a tenuous connection with the flow of time. What time is it? 6 p.m. Yeah. Orderly number two. Mikhail Goba, orderly number two, awaiting your command, doctor. Firstly, I need a team of orderlies here. Stat, board off the house. Don't let anyone out, myself included. I'm staying in there. 
I have likely contracted the disease. But you are still alive. How does this matter in the slightest now? Nothing is over yet. This is just the beginning. This is what I've been told to relate to you. Seriously? You've breathed new life into me, mate. I'm all aglow. I found the infected people, but what does it matter? The stone yard is doomed. Was searching for the carrier even my true mission here? Yeah, was it? Like, okay, I found the infected people. Great, that didn't really solve anything? The town is doomed. My search was pointless. Where do I even go now? What do I even do? Who's alive? Or have more people died? No, I guess the day hasn't technically finished. It's still the same day. So death rolling its dice haven't, hasn't happened yet. I don't know, I guess I'll go to the cathedral. Were they sh I think they were shot. There's something strange going on at the bridge square. <laughs> I think before I interact with that, I want to see if I can save, because it's been a while since I've saved. I guess I should just try to go to the judge, right? Wait, what did this say? No one's seen Maria in the upper town for two days. We can't find her. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Talk with you all later. Oh, I can't go see the judge. Damn you. Have you ever considered going to a fortune teller to learn your fate? Maybe even see tomorrow? Any help or advice would be appreciated now, even that from an auger or haruspex. A mime performance is being staged in front of the cathedral, a tragic one. The actors are, not unexpectedly, quite silent, but if you manage to get one to talk, Tragic, huh? Indeed. It must be hard to watch the local attempts at drama without weeping. Don't worry, you'll like it. I hope they return the money if the audience has an experienced catharsis. Here comes Bachelor Denkovsky. The man who failed to defeat death. How do you know? We know all about you. We know what you did yesterday and what you're going to do tomorrow. If you're so smart, kindly tell me what I'm doing now. Now? Making a fool of yourself by talking to a fool about his foolish endeavors and engaging in various tomfoolery, wasting priceless droplets of time. We have very little of the latter left, by the way. Have our days been numbered by ourselves? Or were it ours? You are anything but a fool. 
Everything will be decided this evening, Excellency. A terrible appointment is in store for you, and you will not emerge from it victorious. Indeed, we do know the key to victory, but alas, it will be of no use to Bachelor Dankovsky. Why is that? Only a man with an open heart can overcome such an adversary. So if I had a softer heart, you'd teach me how to win this duel? Maybe. Possibly. But it's useless to explain to a heartless man. Take heart, Excellency. If you ever find it, that is. And then come back to us. Even though it all sounds like a rather implausible turn of events. An outbreak doesn't seem like a good time to become soft-hearted, but I'll keep your words in mind. The tragedians believe that I have no heart. Save your spare change. We don't need money. What do you need, then? Would you really like to help? We're lacking a number of crucial performers. Uh, but alas, you are already starring in a different play, Excellency. Although in all honesty, you're far from brilliant. The play I'm performing in is starting to wear old. Any play, performance, or game is a cage because it's played by the rules written by someone else. How can a heartless man escape such a cage? That is the question, and we are yet to find the answer. Who knows? Perhaps you'll be of help in this matter. Perhaps I will. can't go in there either. Where can I go? Up to the polyhedron? Could I even get past the guards? The children are asleep. All is quiet. What children? Huh? The children in the tower. Over there. Several hundred. No entry. Who is in charge of their well-being? Are they fed? Provided water? Uh, no one reports that to us. I see. Okay, so that's not happening. So will medicine be delivered by you now? I need spirits. What medicine are you talking about, old man? I don't even have the resources to properly dress a scratch. So what of it? Wasn't it you who ordered the drugstore locked up? Us common folk are afraid to go there. Never mind that it's on the outskirts. No meds in the headquarters, no meds in possession, and them soldier lads won't give us none. So how do we get better? Ain't God's way, this. I never gave such an order. They're abusing their power. Thank you for voicing your concern. The drugstore. Alright, the drugstore. That upstanding drugstore where you can sell organs if you want. And the, uh... The pharmacist that looked like a serial killer looked at me like a piece of fresh meat they wanted to chomp up. Please allow me to shake your hand. <laughs> what do I owe the pleasure? I was mistaken about you. You were the only brave person in this town. Are you trying to borrow money from me or something? A man-eater should never pretend to be a mouse. He should wield his blood-stained cleaver proudly. Issuing the order regarding the suspects in the cathedral was a straightforward and candid action. Uh, hopefully you witnessed the display in person. What display? By the cathedral. You ought to have a look. I have no idea what you're talking about. Stop trying to wriggle your way out. There's nothing more nauseating than a person attempting to cast away their vocation. A natural-born hangman makes for a lousy rope weaver. Just work with the material fate gives you. Go to hell? 
I still don't know what the hell they were talking about. When a person lives in one place for a long time, they imbue it with their soul. Even after they die, the particles remain, filling the place. It's good you lock down the houses of the deceased and forbid anyone from moving in there. As if there were tenants to move in. The tenant of the Stillwater died some time ago and was never infected, yet her mansion remains untouched. Thank you. When I walk by it, I sometimes hear her voice. That means that everything is all right. Never been better. The Stillwater, uninhabited due to its owner's suicide. Oh, suicide. Does the house mourn her passing? It wasn't the plague that took Ava. I could look in the back of the cathedral, but there's so little time left. I don't want to dawdle too much, but I'm really not sure what I should be doing exactly. Except investigating what happened with Ava, I guess, and ah, I can't go in there either. Yeah, alright, let's go to Ava's place. I should be able to save there, I think. I think it's been like a half hour since I've saved. It makes me nervous. I know how to get there without even looking at the map. they say, don't believe them. Whatever it feels like, don't worry. You're alive. So are you. I'm really not getting inside, am I? No. Let's go visit the drugstore. Just clean water. Yeah. I should maybe eat. Yeah, actually, I definitely should eat. Um, I only have smoked fish. Yep. Have you seen them? Rats everywhere. Thousands of rats. What does it mean? It can't be here already, can it? To think that I almost believe that we may have indeed won. Idiot. Cookaroo. Old man. Psst. Hey. Sir? Lend me an ear, will ya? You're like the head guy here, right? Uh, sort of. Look, old man. You're like... Uh, listen. That drugstore? They have medicine there, like powders. I, I mean, it's not like everything got stolen, right? Something has to remain. But that twat of a soldier is a vigilant jerk, and I need powders. What for? If you're sick, you're not taking powders. You're coming with me. I'm sending him across the river to my auntie. Oh, your auntie, huh? 
You tell a soldier, he'll let you in. It is not in his interest to get on your bad side. And then you can, like, throw all that you find to me from the window. There's a broken window upstairs. We'll split, split the profit. I'll wait for you down there. I'll get the items I need without your help, just fine. Nuh-uh, you won't. The store is the only place that's got anything useful. But you'd be arsed to smuggle the lousiest bottle out past that jerk of a soldier. It is either with my help or not at all. So? Ah, <sighs> helping you is the only way, huh? Alright, I'll buy it. I mean it. Word. There's no other way to get anything from that drugstore. We can help each other. Come on, old man. Everyone knows me here, you just ask around. Kukuru's a man of his word, they'll tell you. I'll wait by the window, I promise. Got a sig? We'll discuss your smoking habits if I find you waiting for me when I return. Let's try this great heist of yours. Pharmacy is closed and guarded, but an enterprising kid suggested to hide everything I throw out of the window on the second floor and share the loot. Good day, sir. They say your, your beakheads raided a den in the atrium last night. Found a huge bunch of them wicks, did they? Wicks? Them infected gits. Got themselves a pretty little nickname, they did. The ones that are burning and hiding away from the quarantine are wicks. Those who cover themselves in rags, the responsible ones, are mites, as in dynamite. So, did the beakheads really snatch themselves a bunch of wicks? I don't know. Never heard a thing about a raid. <laughs> Look at us here, guarding the drugstore. Our bunch. The orders that not a uh, the orders that not a thing is to be taken away from the store. A terrible danger. Who gave the order? I was told yesterday that General Block passed away. Indeed, he has. The man's been bulletproof for so many years, but the plague finally got to him. Bless his soul. Captain Longin is in charge now. He gave the order, too. Why? Uh, they brought your samples here, I believe. The plague vials? Bacteria samples? What in the world are you talking about? How moronic does one have to be to bring them here? I'm just doing my duty, sir. If this is an inspection, I can let you in. We'll have to search you after, though. Sorry about that in advance. Uh, safety measures and all. Nothing is to be taken from the store. Not a single item. I mean, personally, I respect you. But the orders were clear. No one wants to have their head court-martialed. Don't worry, I have your head covered. Please have a safe point, I beg you. Can I get a, uh, clock? It's on the second floor where I'm supposed to throw all the medicine out. This is where the organ dealer was. Ooh, good stuff. The windows are sealed with, like, metal sheets. Ah, we still got blood Africa here. If nobody remembers what I'm talking about, that blood stain there is literally exactly precisely modeled after the continent of Africa. Ew, eyeballs. Are they real or are those fake eyeballs? Panacea. So Artemy Burach did manage to make a cure for sand pest after all. That seems like an important thing that I just found that. So that's, I think it's just basically another Schmouter in terms of its effect, except I don't think the panacea hurts you, whereas Schmouter actually severely hurts you. Oh, I 
do not like that it's so dark in here. That is creepy. Executor cloak. All right. Throw items. Well, I gotta throw everything, including the cloak, right? Wait, what exactly did I get? I wasn't keeping super close track. Panacea. I think all the immunity boost. There's. Uh. It's time for me to return home. Whatever happens, I need some rest. Oh, I don't like that sound. Look, Arch is gone. Return home. That is neck number three. Don't intend to stay here long. Yeah, not a great place to stay in an infected district. It sounded like sound from in there, in that house. tinkling. You know what that means? The dead's... the dead are moving. What's going on here? Did you come to pay respects? Pay respects? To whom? You aren't a local, are you? No, I'm not. Daniil Denkovsky, a doctor from the capital, passed away in this house an hour ago. Would you like to come in to pay respects? Please, rituals are very important for the local crowd. Your clock is running fast. Let me in. <laughs> They're boarding up the door behind me. <laughs> This is spooky as hell. <laughs> Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I'm gonna see if we have successfully died? See if we find our body in the bed where I supposedly died an hour ago? 